If I get a statue of myself, worth it. Give me a hat. He always looks like a chicken. Hello, cozy friends. How are we this week? I'm ready. How about you? I'm so ready. Oh my god, I forgot we wasted a day. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Okay, well, what does this mean for us? What does this mean for us? What does this... What? And it's Ken's birthday. Are we besties with Ken yet? You're like, no, right? No. Kind of close though, kind of close. Why did I, why did I date so many people? It was so, so silly of me. Well, okay. Thank you, wizard. Ooh. Wine done, wine done. So I'm just gonna go put a bunch of this wine in, in here. Oh, I had none left in there. Wow, maybe I should just keep the rest in here then. Oh, and I need to get these out. Okay, let's get these out. And then I'll just sell whatever I don't have. I feel like that's the best course of action here. Best course of action is just getting them to something. Getting them the silver at least and selling the rest. So you have immediate capital and then you have a quick cycle of these going. Cause I feel like holding wine in the cellar is just silly. There we go, okay, everything's going. I'm gonna sell the rest. Also, since I skipped Monday, oh, I have to go check on all the things, all the job boards and stuff. BRB, once I get all these. Okay, I harvested all of the ancient fruit. Oh my God, there's so much grass. Oh, it's grass. It's springtime. It's grass time. Oh, so the babies can eat finally. Oh, and they're gonna be mad at me because I only accounted for... Yep, sorry. We'll go eat some grass, okay? Go eat some grass. That's the equivalent of go touch grass after a long winter, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot how pretty it is when it's not winter. I need to clean this area up, huh? I should, I really should. Just gonna let them roam free. Dang, this day by, went by quick, what the hell? All I did was harvest and do my animals and do the wine. Why'd this day go by so quickly? Uh, it's okay. I do just want to get to a rainy day. That is my one goal right now. I want to catch that fish. I just, I want this to be a little more open, you know? There we go. That's perfectly fine. Just so you know, my wild animals can venture out a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna make a bunch of grass for the springtime. Gotta do one, 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 one. Just enough for it to grow, you know? Just enough to grow. Here we go. Okay, home I go. That felt like one of those days, you know when you just wake up and you wake up and you immediately have to do something and then for the rest of the day, it feels like you're doing little random admin things and then you look up from what you're doing and the day's gone. Day's gone because you've just been doing little things all day. That's what that day felt like. Thank goodness. Please be raining. I'm not checking the weather. I should be, but I'm not. Sunny ass day. Let's check the weather. Hello? I don't want to hear that. Okay. Ooh, thank you, Pierre. I'm gonna make more iridium bars because I think 15 was the amount we needed for whatever it was that we were looking at. But I want to have extra. I want to have extra, just in case. I don't remember if today was Ken's birthday or tomorrow's Ken's birthday. You know what's wild to me? And maybe this is something most of y'all knew, but I didn't know this. I recently went to an event where it was at this like aesthetics place that does facials and stuff like that, but it does Botox and the place was great. Amazing place. At my skin, we got like chemical peels, but like really might like not 
surface ones where it like peels your skin. It's just like on a molecular level or whatever, cellular level. Anyways, at the place they do like Botox. And so one of the people were, was like, oh, can I get Botox while I'm here? And then so people were talking about like their Botox experiences. First of all, didn't know how normalized it was. Like I knew, but like only in the context of like, I don't know, TikTok, like people talking about like Botox on TikTok. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like some people do that. I didn't really like everyone in that room had either gotten Botox or like was planning on it or like had an experience once, like whatever. And then, and this is not, this is no judgment at all. I'm just, I was surprised at this, at the conversation and at the reasoning or the like purpose of Botox. This is what I didn't know. This is what surprised me the most. I thought when people got Botox, okay, because I know when you get Botox or I thought at least, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just don't know what Botox is. I thought when older people got Botox, like people who already have fine lines and wrinkles, I thought when they got Botox, it was like a smoothing effect. Like I thought it was holding the muscle to smooth it somehow. That's what I thought Botox was. But apparently, I don't know if I don't know if that's not what it is and this is what it is or if this is just specifically like how it's like the purpose for younger people. But now people are like, yeah, you should start getting Botox when you're like 25, like not even a minimum, like minimum, like 23, like but definitely 25. You start getting Botox. Um, and this is not the first I, I heard that I heard two different people talking about this in the same week. So like one week I watched a TikTok on it and I was like, huh, that can't be right. And then I heard this at the event and I was like, oh, my God, it is. It is right. But they're like, yeah, I get it so that I get it where my expressions are so that essentially so you don't make those expressions. So like the TikTok I saw was like a girl going like, I'm going to go get Botox and like doing this and being like, see that? That's gross. We can't have that. I'm going to go get Botox to fix it. And I'm like, what do you mean we can't have you can't have that? That's your regular facial expression. What do you mean you can't have that? Because I always thought of Botox as like you see wrinkles and then you go, I have wrinkles I'm going to get Botox. Not like, oh my God, this is terrifying. This facial expression is terrifying because that means I'm going to get wrinkles there. So therefore I should get Botox. So I can't do that facial expression. That was mind blowing to me. That was mind blowing to me. And so people were like, yeah, like I, if you can do this and you can do this and, and you see lines, oh no, like that's bad Botox time because that means that's where you're going to get wrinkles. I didn't know this. I didn't know this. I guess that makes sense. That's what preventative means so that you aren't making. But I just assumed wrinkles to be a inevitable, something people, you know, ex just weren't going to accept. And that it was like, oh, preventative as in like it pushes off the wrinkles, but it's more like you will never make that expression again. So you will never have a wrinkle. Something about that scares me so much. And <laughs> again, I, not, not because the like act of getting Botox is scary, like do you besties? Hell yeah. But the concept scares me. Like I didn't realize that was the concept. I didn't realize that was the purpose or concept of Botox. So learning things. That's it. That's it. Also for the record, I personally do not ever plan on getting Botox. Maybe when I'm in like my 40s, I'll be singing a different tune. Maybe I'll be like, ah, I regret not getting Botox and now I'm going to try and, but I don't think so. I'm like very comfortable with the idea of wrinkles. I'm like welcoming, welcoming them with open arms, you know? a proof of a life well lived. But then I was like looking at everybody and then I was like looking at people online that have like talked about getting Botox and I was like, oh my God, like, I don't know, like I didn't click until now that they weren't making facial expressions. I would, and I don't know what I, I don't know who I would be if I can't make facial expressions. Like my facial expressions are everything. I'm like very expressive. Ooh, cutscene. Guys, I just have, I have just the thing for you. I'm all ears. It's a bundle of locally sourced organic heirloom veggies. These are handpicked and sorted to ensure only the finest quality and taste. This is a once in a lifetime offer. That sounds pretty good. I could use some quality veggies for the saloon. How much it cost? Only. What was that? <laughs> for a moment there, I thought you said $25,000. That's right. It, it really is a bargain, isn't it? Pierre, are you crazy? <laughs> Gus is so real for that. There's no way I could afford that. I'd have to sell the saloon. He just walks away. I overheard the price. That's outrageous. You should be ashamed. Wait, how about 10,000 then? No way. I'll buy it. It's a disaster, Ken. I thought this was a surefire business strategy, but it turns out no one is willing to buy vegetables at a 10 times price markup, even if I put the little organic sticker on them. I'm offended they didn't want my veggies. You win some, you lose some. Hey, okay. you're right. You can't run a business without taking some risk. By the way, Ken, you look like you could really use a veggie dinner tonight. What do you say I want to buy these back for a low, low price of 25? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That's it? Oh, maybe now we get whatever like crafting thing it was, or was that just, that was just for funsies? Just for funsies, okay. I don't know why I came in here, but at least we got the cutscene. That's fun. 
Anyways, besties, um, I don't remember what I was even saying. I was just saying, I like my concept of Botox has been flipped on its head and that's it. I will never judge a single person that decides to do anything to change their body at all. I will never judge you. However, I will hold my own personal beliefs about how, if I'm ever gonna do those things to myself. And this changed how I saw Botox. Like, I feel like for a little bit before I was like, oh, maybe like, oh, it's preventative. Like maybe I would do a little bit of Botox, you know, like whatever. But I thought it was just, I don't know what I thought it was doing. I thought it was inserting a special thing into your skin so that wrinkles didn't form. But it's so much more, I don't know, utilitarian. <laughs> <laughs> is that the right descriptor? It's just so literal. It's like, don't move your face and don't get wrinkles. <laughs> oh my goodness. Calling all amateur paleontologists. I need a hundred pieces of bone for my studies. Please drop them off at, muse at the museum counter. Okay, 100 pieces of bones and 100 potatoes by the end of the season. We'll earn a substantial reward. reward. Do we want to do this? I'll just accept it because why not? But is that going to give me anything? I don't think so, right? Harvest 100 potatoes. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just buy the potato stuff. Cause I wanna know what the reward is, you know? If I if I get a statue of myself, worth it. If I just get, you know, some money, not worth it. Let's, I was gonna, I was gonna, that's crazy besties. I was really gonna go take a, a ferry to Ginger Island when I have a, a whole thing over here. I don't know where I'm gonna plant these cause I don't have any kind of extra sprinkler. <laughs> he always looks like a chicken. Oh my God, Ginger Island Harvey literally gives me the ick. I can't do it. I guess I could put them all in these places where I have other things right now, like pineapples and stuff. Or I could simply make more sprinklers, but I don't want to do that. Is this the regular spring soundtrack or is this a Ginger Island specific one? I think it's the regular one, right? This one slaps though, I love this one. Why was all the like late game stuff easier to get through than the like base game stuff? Like I did the volcano, the walnuts, all that stuff. Ginger Island warp totem before. Oh my God, this hurts my heart. All right, let's see what torture you have for us today. Ship 1000. Oh, I could do this one again? Wait, what did I, didn't I just make bread? Oh, for sure I'm doing this one. Absolutely. What was it bread that I made? I feel like it was, I just bought like, I don't remember what I did. It's like wheat flour. I'm doing that again, doing it again. Also as a little influencer moment to influence you, but like in a health way, I recently started oil pulling and it was a thing I saw on TikTok a long time ago. And the person on TikTok was like, I reversed all my cavities. How? Oil pulling. And I've saw a couple TikToks like that. They're like, I had so many teeth problems. The second I started oil pulling, all gone. Name them, I've seen a TikTok about somebody saying, I had this tooth problem, oil pulling, it's gone. And I was so skeptical. I was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I, it was always in the back of my mind. And finally, randomly recently, because I think it was sold out on Amazon because of TikTok, the oil pulling things that people were suggesting were all sold out for so long. But recently, I just happened to check and I think they're like regularly back in stock now. But I tried it. And here's my anecdote, okay? Here's my anecdote to add to the other anecdotes and hopefully lessen your skepticism. Like mine was lessened, rid of really after this experience. I have really sensitive teeth, both to like temperature, but mainly most importantly to my, I came back here. Oh, for wheat, for wheat, for wheat, for wheat. Okay, it's too late. I gotta remember to do wheat flour next time. Remind me, wheat flour. Most importantly, yeah, it's just wheat flour. Okay, so I'm gonna buy 100 wheat flour and then sell a bunch of bread. Was it bread? Oh no, I think it was, I'll have to look it up. I don't remember what it was. I think it was bread. Yeah, time's cooked. I did time's cooked. Okay, yeah, so you just have to make enough. It's not, you don't make 100. You have to make enough to sell 100,000 of it, which was like 1,500 or something. <laughs> okay, so I have to buy like 1,500 wheat flour. Yay, fun. Wait, do I have to make and then cook or can I just sell what I have? Freshly cooked. Okay, well, I'm gonna do other stuff too, cause why not? You know, I have it. Oh yeah. I'm just cooking all the random stuff. Anything I can get my hands on. Why not? Why not? Why not? I know this is not the most efficient, but okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna sell all this and we'll see how much we make. What was I saying? Oh, so, so most importantly, that's what I was saying. I have this sensitivity between my teeth from getting fillings and then like, I don't know if they did the fillings. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? 
I don't know if they did the fillings wrong. I'm just gonna spend some time in the mines killing slimes because I have so many slimes to kill. I'm just gonna do that. Um, and I'm here. I'm here. Most importantly, I have the I have pain between my two between like different three different teeth from getting fillings. And yeah, I don't know. They did them wrong. I don't know. Something. I don't know why there's pain, but there's pain. And so it hurts to floss. And so my like flossing consistency is so sporadic because sometimes I'll just be like, it hurts so bad. It like it hurts. And then so I'll get discouraged and go on and off again with my like flossing habit, which is not good. Then it like contributes to more. It like it's like a cycle. Anyways, I started oil pulling not even for that reason. It was just like, hopefully this helps with like any future cavities. And the pain in two days halved. Two days it halved. Four days gone. Gone. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't understand why. I don't understand the science. I don't understand anything. I don't know if it's like the little like oil bubbles or like filling like micro holes in your teeth. I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know but if you have like teeth sensitivity if you have in between your teeth sensitivity from fillings do oil pulling y'all it's literally changed my life now i can actually just not have to be in excruciating pain when i floss which is so nice okay i got one jelly that whole time one jelly yay that was so helpful for my um that was that really added to my goal of what, what is it, a thousand? Really, really being proactive about this. Pat on the back, honestly. Okay, Ken's birthday's tomorrow. So the next two days I'm gonna have to do tomorrow morning, but Ken's birthday and wheat flour, Ken's birthday and wheat flour, Ken's birthday and wheat flour, Ken's birthday and wheat flour. Ah, hopefully I remember that. Okay, bye, I'll be back. And we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. So update on my um, non-sugar journey. I realized trying to avoid sugar First of all, it did nothing for me. Felt like it did nothing for me. It's supposed to be like, you know, brain fog, gone. Ken's birthday, Ken's birthday. Um, skin, so much better. All these things, like... And just, you know, maybe I didn't do it enough, but I just, I feel like I wasn't seeing any difference. And it was causing me to try all these other things that were then hurting my body. Oh, I gotta go to, I gotta go buy wheat. Wheat and Ken. Those were the two things. <laughs> but I... What is this? Mini shipping bin? Wait, what is this for? I guess people didn't take to Pierre's prime produce like I'd hoped. Anyways, here's my old mini shipping bin. The next time you get your hands on some produce birthday of Pierre's prime luxury bin, maybe you could have them ship my way. What? That's so funny. Is it just a, literally a mini shipping bin? Like that's literally what it's for? I'm gonna put it right there. That's so cute. I tried like a sweetener, the monk fruit sweetener. I, don't, I talked about it in my vlog and probably stream but it's like a natural street sweetener, but it has this artificial sweetener in it called like Eritretal. And for weeks, did I already say this? I don't think so. For weeks, my stomach was in so much pain. I had like so much, you know, like painful gas where it's like, it's just trapped in your stomach. Like nothing, there's no like actual action. It's just all in your stomach hurting. That is what I had for weeks. Just like bloating, pain, stomach. Oh my God, it was the worst. I thought I was dying. I was like, this is it. Like, I don't know what it is. Is it something I'm eating? So I like changed my diet. I started eating like more because I was like, I think I'm not eating enough. And then I was like, no, I think it's that like, I don't, like I'm eating dairy, like maybe my dairy allergies like acting up because I just ignore it. I don't, I don't acknowledge my lactose intolerance. Anyways, y'all, I know you don't care about my specific eating habits, but I figured out it was the artificial sweetener in the monk fruit sweetener which is so sad because it's so good, it's so tasty. <laughs> it's so sad. Ugh, so sad. But I was very happy to figure out the solution. I was very happy to learn that I wasn't dying, very happy to learn that I didn't have some chronic illness pop up. And it was in fact just the artificial sweetener that I was trying to be healthier by eating. But here we are. So anyways, chat, I, I complained about this on stream and chat was like, just, just eat less sugar. Stop trying to go for artificial sugar. Just eat less sugar if that's what you want to do. But like eat natural sugar, like eat agave, cane, natural sugar, but just eat less of it. And I was like, oh, besties, y'all are so smart. <laughs> this is why I have you around. So yeah, that is what my new thing is basically just that I gave that up. And I don't know, I, it's not like I had a crazy sugar problem to begin with. I just wanted, I saw a couple videos on it and I was like, ah, let's see what this no sugar thing. So I'm just gonna go back to what I was doing before. 
We tried it. As I said on stream, we tried we tried our side quest and it failed, you know? Or or rather we completed it and we realized it wasn't for us. So it wasn't for me rather. So just just gonna go back to the all natural. <sighs> Although those Dr. Peppers are still really good. But apparently, I don't know. I think it's just better to go for some cane sugar. Anyways, oh my god, get to the point, lady. That my point in that was I when I was like, okay, well, I want my little my I still want my little treaty treat sodas, you know, for the little treaty treat days. You know, like fill like long filming days, long streaming days. Sometimes I like to add in a little treaty treat soda. These are not working correctly. Why is that? Um, so at the store today, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get like the the like craft natural cane sugar soda it's so gross <laughs> it's so sweet like it's so gross and so sweet and so syrupy so i'm just giving up on soda i'll just find another fun drink if anyone has a fun drinky drink fun like kind of sweet kind of refreshing interesting taste if you have one of those that you like please share i'm looking for a new one i'm giving up on soda I just can't do it. And so I I opened, I cracked one open and I sipped it and I was like, that's absolutely foul. So I mixed it with ice and milk. <laughs> Cause I didn't want that one to go to waste. Someone will drink the rest, but I didn't want uh, this one to go to waste. So I made kind of like a float, but blended with oat milk to force myself to drink soda. That is smart thinking. <laughs> Ay ay ay. We live and we learn. Truly, we live and we learn. I know, you know, you know, what I eat and drink is riveting information. I'm gonna go to the store because I don't know why I was just roaming around down there for no reason at all. Poo. No, it's fine. I'll go without poo. I haven't checked a trash can in a while. Let's return to my roots. Okay, nothing good. Okay, so if I need like 1500, do I need that same amount of wheat flour? I think so. Was it 1500 or was it only like a thousand? I feel like it was like, I feel like it was 1500. I don't know, but we sold like s almost 70,000 worth of food last night. So we don't have to go too crazy. This did drastically help though. It tastes like a normal, I don't know, sweet drink. <laughs> it tastes kind of like a protein shake. I should put protein in that. Hmm. Damn, I gotta stay here for so long. <laughs> Whew, okay. Let's hope that's enough. I love, uh, I love that they, I love that the things repeat in the wizard's quests. I didn't know that they repeat. That means I could just wait till this quest comes up, keep doing it, get all the points. Easy. I thought I was gonna have to do, I mean, I know it takes a while for them to cycle, but here I was thinking I would have to legitimately find four prismatic shard or harvest however many Q, 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 Q beans. Uh-uh, nope. All right, see on the flip side. All right, y'all. Also, I was purely going off of the number that we had sold, that it said we had sold. So we'll see. Why do I have so many of these? I was just harvesting. I'm so silly. Okay, Kent's birthday. And where, he was somewhere, remember last time I was so mad at him because he was somewhere silly? Where was he? He was somewhere so silly on his birthday last year and we could not find him and I waited all day. I waited all day at his house. This man was not findable. Okay, Kent, you want, you want, you want <sighs> roasted hazelnuts or fiddlehead risotto. Well, let's see what the saloon has. Bahar snip soup. Fantastic. I'm gonna get some rice just in case. I don't know what. <sighs> oh, oil. Garlic, fiddlehead, and oil. Okay, let's get some oil just in case. Regardless, we gotta get back. We gotta get in their house at like five. So I gotta whip this up real quick. Cause he also likes like really, really wild things. Like this is the easiest thing that he likes, that he loves. He, I might have some. For some reason my recording software just froze. Oh, that's trout soup, no. And I thought, uh, ah, yes, amazing. I thought the recording froze, but we good, we good, we back. All right, Ken, I'm gonna come find your ass. Shit, it's already 4.30. Okay, I don't know if we're making it inside the house, but oh, come on, 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 come on. Huh, huh, yes. Okay, we made it in. It's not in here. I'm scared to leave. Let's leave. I don't know where this man is. Everyone, keep an eye out. I wish you could just like go back in time. Just reverse. I haven't pulled up the companion app in so long. Kent, where you at? 
I don't think this app has been updated in a long, long time. Stands under tree north of house. Returns home, stands in the entry. I see they lied. This one is not updated. Kent schedule. See, this is what, this is what. Oh, maybe Ginger Island. There he is, there he is. I don't know where all of them just came from. Yeah, you're welcome. I don't know where they all, they all, they were all somewhere. Maybe it was Ginger Island. But that website is not, the wiki is not updated either. All of them are failing me. Absolutely failing me. Okay, well now I got some oil and I don't know what to do with it. I feel like I'm like waiting around for um, something. Like I feel like I'm waiting around for stuff to happen and I feel like I shouldn't be. Like I feel like I'm wasting the, like, I feel like I'm wasting the day somehow. Like I could, I could be maximizing the money that I'm bringing in. Um, I don't think that adds up. Maybe with the other amount it does. Ah, God, we're so close. Jeez. I should have just got some extra. How much do they sell for? Well, if 999, okay, I'm just gonna get 100. I think the math is like, I need 80 something, but I'm just gonna get 100. Oh, <gasps> you guys, it's raining. It's raining. Okay, first, first things first, I'm going to the mountains. I'm going to the mountains and I'm gonna maximize my time by going to this thing. Wait, is that where it is? 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 I'm scared, I'm scared. The pressure's on now. I don't even have anything on my, I wouldn't prepare. I have nothing. I have nothing. I have no bait. I need, I need something. Oh my God, I'm scared. Isn't it over here? Don't you get it over here? Hold on, let me look this up, let me look this up. I wasn't prepared, I should've prepared. I feel like I shouldn't even, I shouldn't even bother. I should go get some stuff for my thing. Okay, it just says around the sunken log. I feel, I just feel like I should get stuff. Ugh, we'll try it, we'll try it, we'll try it. Oh, the sunken log's down there. Oh my God, I'm just wasting time, I'm wasting time. The legend fish waits for no one. I can't even see the sunken log. Oh, that was for sure it, right? If it has a little hat on it, isn't that... That didn't seem too bad. I feel like I fumbled that one. If I had a thing on my thing. Okay, that's not it. Okay, that was def... Okay, so... <sighs> the ones with the thing. The little hat. Look at Pooh over there. Moral support. No hat. No hat. No hat. No cast. Give me a hat. Am I wrong? No. The ones with the hat, right? Can't believe it was the first one we got. Okay. How many days do I have? I have 10 days for that. So I can actually just fish all day. But I feel like I should put something on my line. I feel like I should. I feel like it's silly if I don't. I feel like it's so silly if I don't. Okay, let's get the cork. Get that one. Get some bait. That's a good one. And that's a good one. Okay, we're stacked. We're stacked. Let's go, Pooh. Let's go to the mountains. We're fishing all day. I don't quite know which one to do. Um, I think I'll start with the lead bobber. If I'm wrong, and I'm just missing out on opportunities because I'm looking for this stupid hat, I'm gonna be mad. But I don't think I am. I think that's what happened last time. It's 10% chance. Is it only spring? Because if it's only spring, that's so rude. I'm wasting so much bait, I know, but I don't have the time. Okay, I'm just gonna catch the easy ones because why not? We need money. <laughs> Gets a carp. Oh, the lead bobber is so nice. I wonder if it if it wears out based on time that you're reeling in the fish or not uses, because I'm wasting uses on it right now. <gasps> no! See, the first time, if we had that lead bobber the first time, because that was just an easy, like, they threw us a softball with the, the pattern of the first one. I feel like maybe for the jumpy ones, I feel like I should put another one on. I feel like I should put the cork bobber on. I'm going to trust my heart. This is what I did for the octopus, remember? I was like, y'all keep telling me cork bobber. Yeah, it's definitely a use and not time. Whoopsies. Causes fish to escape slower when you aren't reeling them in. That one might be helpful right now. I feel like either trap or, I don't know. We'll see. We'll test. Because he's not super bouncy. He's not super sporadic. He just like does big jumps. You guys, I'm getting discouraged. Well, there goes that one. Doesn't my like eyes and shirt look like a creepy face in the dark? This is like rolling a 10-sided die. However many, uh, we had to have 
hit like 40 at this point. Yeah. Country roads. Take me home to a place where I belong. I don't know how the hell I'm going to catch that thing. Honestly, I say that, but it didn't seem too much harder than the other hard ones we did. It's just the fact that it it's it's so rare that it comes up. Like, also, I do feel like the trap pop trap bobber is the best. So whenever we can, I'm going to buy a bunch of trap bobber. For now, we sleep. I didn't even do bread. I won't accidentally go to bed again this time. Next time, we'll do the bread. And hopefully, we'll have another chance at the king at the legend fish i'm heartbroken i know what will make me feel better and you know what will make me feel better it's cozy corner time okay we have cozy cali with a v <gasps> wow is that like a stained glass pc side how did you get that that's crazy that is so cool i love that <gasps> Pretty Wisteria Witchling. I'm loving the ring and the nails. Very cute. I also really like the, what's her name from Moana? The Funko Pop, that's very cute. Just Cozy Things, the lovely, lovely desk setup. I love your PC case. I wanted to find one like that. I know like, is it Next that sells them? Or there's, there's some brand, I have them saved and they just haven't released new ones yet, but I want it, I want that. I'm jealous. Um, we have F Florence, Cozy Joy playing Florence and a little book of cottage core. that's so cute. Low Bear Adventures with the cutest setup with all these plants, I love it. Fluffy Bow Bun with these really cute thumb grips uh, with little butts on them, that's so cute, I love it. Cozy Nerd Crossing, I saw that Squishmallow at Target and I was so tempted, but I was like, it doesn't match the rest of my color scheme because it's so red, but I wanted it so bad. It's so cute. I love it. Raul's Voyage with some Pokemon. How is that? It's very cute. A little outdoor area. We have Mushy Noodle with uh, the Gudetama on the shelf is absolutely sending me very, very cute. <gasps> we have Selena's with Lego plants. I love them. I love those. So cute. Oh my god, and then Sam's Cozy Corner has a things I love in my cozy room. Real taper candles, I love those. Potted plants, ooh, my bookcases. I'm jealous of them, I would like some bookcases. Oh, garland on my headboard. Your bed is so cute, your bed, your bed looks like my like, like teen bed and it's making me so nostalgic and I now I want that. I want it, I want it, I love it, I want it! I want your entire room, oh my god. I stopped listing the things, but that was, I got distracted by how cute your room was. What the heck? So cute. Okay, I think I missed some Cozy Friends of the Week, but Cozy Friends of the Week that we do have. By the Cozy Mood, playing Disney Dream Life Valley. Thank you, I love it. We have, this is a me this is quite the meta one. It's Cozy Yasmin reposting the Stardew Cozy Corner where I'm telling them they're the Cozy Friend of the Week. Very, very, you know, there's layers to this, um, but you are once again Cozy Friend of the Week for posting that you were Cozy Friend of the Week. Thank you, I love you. Then we have, I am in your wildest dreams with this adorable little Stardew shot with these really cute little stuffies. And I think those are our Cozy Friends of the Week, y'all. I love y'all so much. Love you always, forever. Stay cozy. Loop. That's it. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye. <laughs>